We're no Moana of Matinui, but you will board our boat, sail across the sea, and find the best Easter eggs in the film? Disney is no stranger when it comes to tucking away fun references in its films, and the ocean-loving Moana is no exception. From Frozen to The Little Mermaid, the 2016 flick is jam-packed with clever little nods that you might have missed the first time around. Set your sails, folks! We're going Easter egg hunting. Let's start off with one of the classics, Aladdin's Magic Carpet. Way before we were surfing the tide with Moana, we were all about surfing through the clouds with Prince Ali. Arguably, one of the coolest things to come out of the Cave of Wonders was Carpet. Yes, he named the carpet Carpet, but we'll get into that some other time. Did you know Aladdin's trusted old rug had a cameo in Moana? If you go back, you can spot him near the beginning of the film, during the song How Far I'll Go, when the chief's daughter is roaming around the island. Take a closer look at the locals, and you'll see some of them laying out a carpet that looks a lot like the magic carpet from the 1992 classic. You'll have to really keep an eye out for him, because he's pretty easy to miss. For one, it looks like a pretty ordinary rug, clearly liking carpet's big personality, and it probably couldn't fly either. Moana would have had an easier way off the island if it did, don't you think? Looks like carpet chose to settle down in Matinui after retirement. A crystal clear beach, happy islanders, plenty of food, where do we sign up? Next, squirt the turtle from Finding Nemo. If a clownfish has no Ever made you cry, then you probably haven't seen Finding Nemo. This little gem from the early 2000s had it all, from action and adventure to some pretty solid life lessons. We're telling you, if just keep swimming isn't your life motto, then you're doing it wrong. Apart from our star fish, the film had some other pretty memorable characters, including the totally cool sea turtle, Crush. Well, guess who made an appearance in Moana? Remember the cute little turtle you saw in the beginning of the film, the one Moana protects from the birds and helps back into the ocean? Well, if you look closely, it'll probably remind you of a very enthusiastic little turtle from Finding Nemo, Squirt. Even his parents look pretty familiar, only much younger, <laughs> if that's possible. Last we saw the dude. He was 150 years old. And considering Moana came out only recently, don't you think he'd be a little too old to surf across the sea? But the 2016 film is actually set some 3,000 years ago. So we guess it it technically happened before Marlin went out looking for his son. Looks like Disney's got more than one multiverse of madness going on. And then we have Olaf from Frozen. Those who've seen Moana probably know that the weather isn't ideal for a snowman. But Olaf isn't just any snowman, now is he? He carries a personal cloud around with him. So when parts of him made an appearance in Disney's tropical flick, he was pretty frozen, only dismantled. You can spot Olaf's distinct carrot nose lying in the basket that Moana Moana throws on the boat before setting off to sea. If you pause and look closely, you'll even see his stick arms lying next to it, and a white blob with closed eyes. Now, what would a snowman be doing in the middle of the ocean? Beats us! Next, it's Flounder from Little Mermaid. Ariel might have wanted to be part of our world, but her little friend, Flounder, clearly was part of Moana. Those of you who can't seem to remember the iconic blue and yellow fish, Flounder was one of Ariel's best friends in the 1989's Little Mermaid. Mermaid. If you look closely at the different fish that comes up when Maui sings, you're welcome, you'll easily spot flounder swimming with a colorful bunch, with the same body shape and colors. The old fish isn't hard to spot. It's actually one of the most non-discreet Easter eggs in the film. And then there's Moana's necklace and its history. Okay, so this isn't exactly an Easter egg, it's more of a fan theory, but it's a pretty interesting one we just had to put in here. Remember Moana's iconic blue necklace, the one with Tefiti's heart in it? Well, fans think that it's somehow similar to Ursula's voice-snatching necklace from The Little Mermaid. We know how crazy it sounds. Ursula was the baddest witch in the sea, while Moana was a rebellious little sweetheart. How could they have any history together? Both of their necklaces are from the sea, are magical, and most probably made out of seashells. That's too much of a coincidence, don't you think? Up next is Genie's Magic Lamp from Aladdin. Looks like Disney really loves its classics, because we spotted another Aladdin reference in Moana. Now, this one pops up much later in the film, when Moana and Maui head to the lair of the glorious crab Tamatau. That dude was super self-obsessed. We mean, he legit sang about himself. Anywho, coming back to the Easter egg, after Maui eventually jumps his back, you can see all the shiny spoils he's collected over the years. If you zoom in there and look at the bottom left corner of the scene, you'll find something familiar tucked away with the treasure. It's the magic lamp! We do wonder how Tamatau got his hands on Genie 
Disney's itty bitty living space? Did he venture into the cave of wonders? Or did he have the lamp before it ended up in the middle of the desert? Did he use his three wishes? Guess we'll never know. Next, we have Sven, the funny looking reindeer from Frozen. Considering the insane success of Disney's Frozen, are we really surprised that there are two Easter eggs from Elsa and Anna's adventures? Both the films are from two completely different worlds, not to mention entirely different seasons, but that didn't stop the studio from bringing them together, even if it was only a minute. After Maui gets his hands on his magical fish hook, you probably remember him shape-shifting into a bunch of different animals. One of those animals is your favorite funny-looking reindeer, Sven. Even though it's only for about a minute, you could spot him in a heartbeat. And now, Baymax from Big Hero 6. Here's an Easter egg that came all the way from San Francisco. Looks like our favorite personal healthcare assistant has fans far beyond the city. Remember the coconut pirates? They looked pretty cute, but they could also burn you at the stake. Pretty interesting little creatures. Well, turns out they're fans of Disney films as well. If you look closely, you'll see one of the Kakamoras has his face painted exactly like the marshmallow robot, Baymax from Big Hero 6. You'll have to take a second to spot it though, it's pretty well hidden. Another is Rapunzel's flower from Tangled. Moana's home island was hands down one of the most beautiful places we've seen in an animated film. And that's saying something, considering the studio has given us some pretty breathtaking sceneries. Disney being Disney, decided to throw in a pretty familiar flower there. The iconic magical plant from 2010's Tangled also made a cameo in Moana. The gleaming and glowing flower is tucked away at the very end of the film when all the plants are coming back to life. It's a pretty easy to miss easter egg if you aren't looking for it. Now, we know for a fact that Mother Gothel's Flower of Youth was the only one of its kind in the world, but could it be that this flower on a 3,000 year old island is somehow related to the one in Tangled? Considering the whole Te Fiti situation, it is a possibility. And then Sebastian from Little Mermaid. Disney took a page out of Marvel's book and decided to sneak in a little post credit scene of their own in Moana. But that's not the easter egg we're talking about. Now, this one isn't something you can see, but you can definitely find a cheeky little connection if you listen carefully to the shiny musical crab to Matau after the end of the film. When the camera pans in on him, we see he's still stuck on his back after he tried to catch Moana and Maui from earlier in the film, singing the same song. But if you give him a second, he brings up another crab from the Disney universe, the very famous red crab from The Little Mermaid, Sebastian. If my name was Sebastian and I had a cool Jamaican accent, you would totally help me, he says, struggling to get up. Can't say he's wrong. Sebastian might have been grumpy and a little uptight, but he was hands down better than Tamatau. Lastly, the Mad Max Fury Easter egg. Disney's got something for the parents as well. If you're singing along to Moana for the hundredth time with your kid, you might find a grown-up film reference refreshing. The epic chase scene between the Coconut Pirates and Moana and Maui is straight out of Tom Hardy's Mad Max Fury. And that about wraps up our video for today, folks. How many Easter eggs did you spot? Did we miss out on any? Let us know in the comment section down below. Be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.